Hey there everyone and welcome to part two of the Paladarium Rebuild. It's going to be another long one so grab some more snacks, sit back, relax, and hope you enjoy. So I've got the backgrounds back up on there. Uh, I went with black on the bottom again, just to give that darkened area look so it's not drawing the eye away from anything. Um, but if you remember how this tank previously looked, I did have white up at the top right corner, kind of to signify open air space, open sky space. Because what I'm trying to accomplish is pretty much have a, a river bank in the Amazon sort of look. So when I made the background, I decided to leave an open space up at the top where I can still have at least some white. Because if you look through the trees in a forest, you're still going to see some of the sky. It may not be much, you know, depending where you are and how dense the plant growth is, but you're always at least going to see a tiny bit. So I wanted to really emphasize that with um, the background when I built it like this. Alright guys, so I've got the canister filter intake installed, but I hit a little bit of a snag with the outflow. Um, originally I used the, the outflow pipe that came with the canister filter, and that worked before, but as you can see, there is a lot of wiggle room now um, that I didn't have an issue with before. Uh, so I made a little bit of a run to the hardware store last night before they closed and uh, got a few things that'll probably help with that. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is making my own little outflow pipe here out of some PVC parts. Uh, that way I can adjust the, the size of the elbow that goes over the lip of the tank so that it'll fit a little bit tighter on the, uh, right over the waterfall section. So I've got uh, the, I'm using half inch PVC here. This is left over from when I made my spray bar for my fluval canister filter. And then I picked up a CPVC PEX adapter here. All right guys, so just to dry fit it before I glue everything together and paint it, you can see that is much better. It, we do have a little bit of wiggle in there, but uh, it is not a big issue. It is close to, it is sitting right on the waterfall area here. Uh, so I think we are good to go. We can go ahead and get this all glued together and get it painted. All right, everyone, so it is now the next day. The PVC glue is dry, the spray paint is dry, and that is not a bad job if I do say so myself. The hosing for the canister filter, which is the same hosing that came with it, it's just um, three quarter inch hosing, uh, is gonna fit right over this perfectly. I did already do a, fit, um, a test with it before I painted it and glued it just in case to make sure. Uh, and I'm going to use the original clip or clamp that came with the canister filter um, for, the for the purpose of holding the holes onto the, um, the fitting. Uh, it has a strong enough hold and it's not going to be under very much pressure, if any, on this. So I'm not concerned with that, so it should work perfectly. So I'll go ahead and get that installed and hopefully next thing you see after that will be the tank filled with water and the waterfall running. Let's 
So this is running off of my marine land canister filter. And it right now I have it at about about half half speed, half gallon per hour, I guess you can say. Uh, it's not pumping out the full amount of water it would normally on full. Uh, but that is perfect because on full you can see all the splashes on the side here. That's when I had it on full, it was hitting the glass there, uh, making a tremendous amount of noise, so that's no good. So I lowered that down, and then to quiet down the uh, the waterfall a little bit, so instead of loud splashing, it's more of a s silent trickle, I put in the this one piece of driftwood here. It's, it's not glued in, it's just loose sitting in there. And then behind it here, worked out um, with the piece of cork bark that it's sitting on top of. Uh, I piled in a whole bunch of these larger, probably half inch size um, river rocks. And there were some nice flat ones in there too, so that helped. But pretty much that is cushioning the water as it rolls through there. And then comes out the, the bottom here. And you can see we have a nice kind of trickle effect going down. Some is trickling off of the driftwood here. And, it's, and that is looking nice. And it's sounding nice. And it is making the effect that I was looking for exactly. Um, so I still have a running waterfall. And I am getting good circulation still around the tank. And as you can see here, you're probably wondering about this little section here of foam. That is... A little planter area I made essentially that's gonna be a little almost bog section uh, but when we go to planting it you'll get a better look at that
All right, guys, so this is the next day now. Uh, all the plants that are above the water that I that I pulled out, I've put in their places with the exception of uh, one of the plants that I had in the last setup. Decided to go ahead and take that one out as well. It was, um, it was a more Asiatic plant, so I, like I said, I'm trying to keep this as South American as possible. So I decided to take it out of here. Uh, the waterfall has worked well overnight and as you can see the water did get a little bit uh, cloudy uh, most likely that is uh, just from a bacterial bloom uh, since right now there is uh, there's no media in the filter since I don't have any fish in here uh, it's just basically pushing water at this point uh, so what I'm going to do today I'm going to do a do a, a water change on the tank, uh, get out all of this foggy water, and then also finish up the underwater section.